Get your Bibles. Can you stand on your feet and turn with me to 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 6, clause B. Thank God for Dr. McKay for reading my scripture. I didn't tell him. He didn't read it. He read my whole message, preaching my whole message. <laughs> it is 353. We're gonna be out of here at 6 o'clock, I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> and the time of my departure is at hand. That's enough. You may be seated. Okay. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of God stands up. For the time that we share it together, I want to preach from the subject. It was just his time. Yep. It was just his time. I've only got just a minute. Only 60 seconds in. Forced upon me. Can't refuse it. Didn't seek it. Didn't choose it. But it's up for me to use it. I must suffer if I lose it. Give an account if I abuse it. Just a tiny little minute. But eternity is in it. Those were the words of the president of Morehouse College, Dr. Benjamin Elijah Mays, that he spoke as he stood over the body of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr who had been one of his students. He spoke these words to make the point on how Dr. King had made proper usage of the time that he had been allotted to him on this earth. The point Dr. Mays was trying to make is everything is about time. And that time, as we know, is everything. That is not about accolades, accomplishments, it's about time. It's not about connection, it's secondarily about contributions, but primarily it's about time. Making the time that it's of the time you have, because in the words of the old hymn, you must work for the night is coming when people work no more. Y'all better help me preaching here, y'all. It's about time management. It's about time stewardship, but never time ownership. Because God owned the clock on the time, and eventually time runs out. Sometimes you make it overtime, like that's a kind of guy when you pray for the stitching of his years. But even if you get overtime, like the sands of the hour, the glass of some people said, these are the days of the, he of these are the days of our lives when the sand runs out. What have you done with your time? The time is yours for stewardship, but the time is God's for ownership. Because God owned the time, he sets the time, because God sets the time, I have to work within the time, because eventually time runs out. The reality is, time runs out because there is no death, no doubt about death. George Bernard Shaw once said, the statistics on death have never changed. Everybody become one out of every person that dies. 56 million, 600,000 a year, 4.7 million per month, 155,000 per day, 6,500 per hour, 107 per minute, 1.8 per second, and that was before COVID. <laughs> It would appear that no matter how well you have stewarded your time, it would appear that death always wins. But I submit to you today, death never wins. Yeah. One of the Greek playwrights once said that only for death no man can find cure. We find a cure for everything else, but we can't find a cure for death. But I submit to you today that when no man can find a cure, God did. And Paul to me gives the best description of the cure. That God found out how to manage death. Yes. And time, he writes these words to his son Timothy, who was getting weary in ministry. To the words we preach, these words more than often the reverend at the funeral or someone who's old who have suffered for long. But Paul don't write these words because he's old. He don't write these words because he suffered. He's not a man of an old age who's discouraged, broken, and worn out. He writes these words because he knows his time is up. But he's confident he don't write these words with despair or defeat. And it was strange considering where he was. He was facing in a dungeon in the bottom of the room. Ain't no lights, no windows, no running water, but yet confident in that peace. He's about to be executed by Nero's. He's about to be executed but does not talk in the language that he is. That is what's bringing his death is all I want to land. Paul let us know that what is bringing his death is not execution, but it's expiration. Paul let us know that what is bringing his death is not struggle, but it's schedule. God, I feel like preaching. <laughs> what bring his death is not struggle, it's schedule. He says the time of my departure is at hand. If you got the message version, the message version says you take over. I'm 
about did that. Oh, I really feel like preaching, y'all. He says, what's bringing his death is not struggle, it's schedule. Because the Bible says in the King James Version, the time of my departure is at hand. You better hit me. He doesn't say Nero is going to kill me. He doesn't say sickness is going to take me. He says, I'm getting ready to leave just because it's my time. Paul had many instances where something had gone wrong in his life. People tried to take his life, but he survived all those because it just wasn't his time. It just wasn't on the schedule. But Paul says, now it is the time. He says it real simple. I'm out to death in this Nero. It's not execution. It's just my time. Right. That's the only thing that got me through the week, y'all. I told y'all that yesterday that it was just his time. I couldn't figure God out, y'all. Maybe I'm holier than I am, but I couldn't figure God out, y'all. Maybe I got a deeper faith than I do, but I couldn't figure God out. Maybe I got a deeper anointing than me, but I just couldn't figure God out, y'all. I mean, I was mad with God because I was questioning God. I couldn't figure out what's going on because the man was just here. It's not that I, it's not that I don't trust him, but I mean, Lord, if you want some folk to take, I gotta listen to my phone. And I, was, I couldn't figure out. And the only thing that got me through this week was it was just. I 
I know y'all ready to go. I got one last thing to tell you, then I'm done. I'm gonna close right. I know y'all waiting for me to close. I'm, I'm gonna holler and all that. But let me just see the text. It was just this time we can holler. And he fought and he finished. He fought everything that they threw at him because he had a one life and accomplished life. Because God let him live long enough to put him from childhood to adulthood. But then when you're having a well life and accomplished life, Paul knew that it's time to come. We don't got that privilege. We don't know the day nor the hour. We don't got that luxury. I don't know when, but I do know what is going to happen when it comes. Oh, y'all better help me preach up in here. Paul here right here. He says that we're that Paul teaches us that we're not built to stay, but we're built to last. Because I don't last here. Y'all didn't hit me. I ain't built to stay here, but I'm built to last. Why y'all sit nickel see you won't built to stay here? He was built to last. I gotta go, y'all. Paul says this for God. I feel like it. That's laid up for me a crown of righteousness. Y'all better hear me when I'm saying this on this day should motivate you to live right on that day. Y'all know y'all ain't getting y'all gonna get you about later. I don't know the time of that day, but while I have on this day, I'm gonna get ready for that day. I shot on every day. Because while he was here, he got ready for that day. While he was here on this day, he lived for Jesus for that day. While he was here for this day, he raised his children for that day. While he was here in this day, he sat for the Lord for that day. And though, even though he didn't say, he was the glad. I love the God. I love it. But the Bible says, has thou not known? Has thou not heard? That the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, faith him not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. That by the shot right here, he gives the power to the faith. God didn't catch that. And to them that have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall leave for that by the shot right here. I got another one. But they that way. Upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. But it's a little right. I will meet my granddaddy at the Saints County. Come on, musician, that's right. I feel like I'm wrong. One good time, then I'm going to be out of here. You ask him yourself, what's the love? It's Strange County. Well, right after you get to the gold gates, that's the Strange County. That's when you're having your cross to pick up your ground. We watched my granddaddy bear his cross down here. He fought a good fight. Now it's time to crown the king. Now you can have in your cross. Because ain't no sickness over there, Papa. Ain't no pain over there, Papa. And you can pick up your crown. And my granddaddy was in the hospital. He said, I'm, I'm still holding on. But if God called me home, I'm ready. Call at your name and say, neighbor, get your house in order. Yeah, get your house neighbor, get your house in order. My granddaddy had his house in order. You know, you, let me tell you why. Because on March 30th, 2021, at 3 o'clock at 3 2 p.m., my granddaddy took me where all the money was just in case something had happened to him. I didn't understand it, but I just took a picture of him and let me know, just in case we go through some things. But I gotta let you know that it was just this time. I gotta go, y'all, but every time my granddaddy would get up to pray, he would say, it's me, Lord. Not my mama, not my father, not my brother, not my sister, but it's me, Lord. Stand in the middle of the church. Can I just close my granddaddy for Good night, Papa. May the Lord God bless you real, real good. Yes, but is there anybody here that can to close this man for him? Stand on your feet if you're thankful for the blood. Stand on your feet if you're thankful for the Christ. Stand on your feet if you're glad you got a home and you're a little bit of Stand on your feet if you are the to worry about his blood. You don't have to worry.
Just 